please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Kelly McCormick. And I'm Garrett Otto. And coming up on today's show, we'll tell you about the accomplishments from this weekend. And we got some important info for all you seniors about the end of the year. It's coming up. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Gene. We're here morning announcements for Monday, April 25th, 2016. Any senior who has received an invitation to Senior Awards Night must return the RSVP form to the main office. The RSVP form deadline is this Wednesday. Any senior interested in giving the annual important graduation speech at, speech at this year's graduation ceremony may submit their speech to the main office no later than Friday, May 6, 2016. Good luck to all submitting. And to kick off German Week, we have a German fact. German universities are free even for American students, and some programs are even offered in English. Very tempting. And now, still to come on today's show, we have some big congratulations to give and some great info on how you can help out some kids, so stay tuned. I took German because my family had a German exchange student when I was in fifth grade. I thought the language was interesting. German is pretty fun. It's, uh, I got a lot of friends in it. You learn a lot about the culture and the language itself. My favorite part about German class is that it's really laid back and we all got really close throughout the year. We make vocab videos and they're so fun to watch in class. I got my hair done during one video. That was pretty fun. It's something different. You know, a lot of the kids within the school are already taking Spanish and French. It's a really small, tight-knit community. We all get to know each other really well. German Club Honor Society does a lot of activities. Everything ranging from laser tag against French club to playing hide and seek throughout the school. We had the homecoming parade. We sell candy during German week. We play a game called Hop Dish. We have German Club breakfast and we participated in Clash of the Vikings and came in second. Clash of the Vikings was a lot of fun. We did like a little um, dance skit to like rock me and it was pretty sick. What can I say about the kids at Geneva who take German? They're the best. They're the best students that we have. They are up for anything. They are so much fun to be with and to be around. And it is really an honor for me um, that I get to have them for so many years and really feel like I'm sending off my own kids into the world. It's awesome. You know, Gary, my favorite part about German Week is definitely the music in the hallways. Oh, I love all the treats they sell. They're oh, delicious. Those are pretty German great, too. German is amazing. <laughs> yeah, the ITS meeting on will be this Wednesday, and both current and people who are looking to join the club next year should attend because the induction ceremony is going to be the big topic at the meeting. International Club will be meeting this Thursday, April 28th. The meeting will be held in room J243, but it won't just be the International Club this time. German Club will also be joining you, so do not miss this exciting meeting. And here's your history fact of the week. George Washington became the first U.S. president as he was administered the oath of office on the balcony of Federal Hall at the corner of Wall and Broad Streets in New York City. That's fantastic. Good for him. And we'd like to send a congratulations out to Madeline Nowak on her win at last Thursday's fourth annual Wright Club. She won with an impassioned speech about the word here, while her opponent from Lyons argued for theirs. She chose the Appalachian Service Project as the charity to receive her portion of the money raised. A shout out to all the students who participated in Wright Club. Anyone who is interested in events for next year, talk to Mr. Whitman in B123. To all you drama kings and queens, Drama Club will be hosting their third and final improv workshop of the year. It will be held on April 28th and will be featuring Lori Holm from the Steel Beam Theater, so don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. And now GT reporter Liv Corbett is on set with a few members here from UNICEF Club at GHS. Liv? 
Thanks, guys. We're here with two members of UNICEF, Delaney Paneer and Shelby Bowman. Now, Delay Delaney, um, what event's coming up with UNICEF? Uh, UNICEF is coming up with a 5K to raise money for child refugees. Okay, that's great. And Shelby, where exactly is the 5K and it's, when? It's at Fabian Park, 9 a.m. on June 4th. Okay, great. And Delaney, if someone like me were to sign up, where and what would I do? Uh, go to bit.ly slash refugees 5K or visit GHS Voyager. Okay, now, Shelby, if I win... <laughs> Is there any award or any prizes at the end? Yes, there are cash prizes. Wow, pretty cool, guys. All right, so make sure to come and sign up for the 5K in June for UNICEF. Back to the desk. Thanks, Liv. And this past weekend, both boys and girls track teams were in action. The boys competed at the Kalen Invitational and were led by Brian F Fuel, sorry, who won the 800-meter run. Zeke Buck also won pole vault for the, for the boys vaulting <laughs> over 14 feet. The girls placed fifth at the Glenbard West Invitational. Mackenzie Altmeyer doubled in the 3200 and 1600 meter run. She beat her own school record in the 3200 with a time of 10 minutes and 41 seconds. And Kristen Higgins won the high jump and tying her school record of 5 feet 6 inches. Congratulations to all. Now here's 3 to know before we go. The girls softball team won the Rolling Meadow Tournament this weekend. Star Club is meeting tomorrow morning at 7.10 a.m. or 3 p.m. in room EE191. And congrats to our girls soccer team for beating Schaumburg 3-1 on Saturday, winning Group B of the Naperville Invite. And we have Liv Corbett back on set to talk more about the UNICEF interview. Yeah, honestly, I really think that 5K is awesome what they're doing. Uh, it's for a great cause, and I think a lot of people should sign up. Yeah, you know who I think would be good at that? Mackenzie Altmeyer. Oh, we could all be Mackenzie Altmeyer. There you go. Mackenzie, you should definitely sign up. And there's prizes at the end, so. Oh, hey, fantastic. sure got to do it. We would also like to give a shout-out to the boys' baseball team for winning their game against West Chicago this weekend. Wow, softball and baseball. Really Crazy. showing up. Crazy. Congratulations, guys. Looks like that's all the news we have for you today. Geneva, I'm Keely McCormick. I'm Garrett Otto. And I'm